Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Scar Snake. And we're in the middle of a wah! And we just cleared out the dwarves from the Silver Road, but I had to reload and refight the last fight because you can see at the end of last episode that we lost our wah army. So I had to reload an earlier save, but we got it back and nothing really changed except we got unhappy populace. But that's fine, it's only for four turns and it's only negative three, so we'll manage. But now that we have them back, we can start rampaging south towards Eight Peak. And I think we'll just go through the mountains and take like Karak Drawn, we take Black Crag for another gold mine, and then we'll just go to Karak 8 Peak and make a nice line in the mountain. Because the Badlands in itself is full of orcs that's probably not gonna attack us. So we'll see. It'll be fine. We also got a second army that's going north because Ungrim is walking around the place pretending like he isn't gonna attack us any turn now. So we're just gonna pull the trigger and attack him. And it's gonna be fine. And we can auto-resolve that, no problem. There we go. And we didn't actually take much damage. And we're probably gonna get rid of a couple of goblins. Because... Uh, well, we should have done this last episode. Because I, I know you don't like lose cap. It's just based on when, what you have when you get it. I just got a little bit unsure. But we're gonna get rid of a couple of goblins and get uh, Sneaky Stabas. No, oh, Nasty Skulkus. That's what they're called. Sneaky Stabba is that's something else. Uh, but we're gonna get five Nasty Skulkus because they're, they're just great against... Um, Dwarf Warriors, and I kept two goblins because they're not bad against uh, Slayers, because I assume you have some Slayers there. Yeah, because they don't have any armor, but uh, they have a bunch of melee attack. And the normal goblins actually have better melee defense than uh, Nasty Skulkus, but they don't have any armor pairs, so we're just keeping two to throw into Slayers. The archers are going to do fine though, because, well... They only have bronze bronze shield, so it'll be fine. And uh, we also got a bunch of ROR's that we're gonna get next turn because uh, we don't want to pay for their upkeep. But we're just gonna step outside because there is an army here, and if I know the AI correctly, they're gonna go and siege Karaz uh, Karak because this is their last army and they have to take something. And if we stay in here, we're not gonna get any any um, replenishment and probably take some attrition and that's just annoying so we're gonna step outside and get some uh, well level up and I want oh but I also want mob boss we're gonna need to get so many of these and that annoys me but we're gonna want ambush but we're also gonna want upkeep let's start with ambush it's good to have, and we're not paying much for this yet. It's just, we're gonna start paying for it a lot, eventually. Because I wanna get some trolls and colossal squigs and probably more arachnoroks, and then mob boss is gonna be great. Oh, and this guy, level 2. And he's definitely gonna get the, the gobos. And growth control and corruption. Good. Oh, Blomians wants a non-aggression pact. I mean, they are incredibly weak, but I don't want to be attacked by necromancers just in case. Or, I guess, vampires. But yeah, I think it's better to just not get on their bad side. Oh, the red eyes got destroyed, which means Ungrim is on his way back. Which is kind of what I planned for. And we, of course, we can't reach him. But I was gonna try to get an ambush here. Because we've had good experiences with ambushes so far, at least against the dwarves, and there's nothing that gives. I thought some of these trees were gonna give me some um, ambush chance, but this is some this is some shit trees that won't give me ambush chance, so I guess just go as far as you can and uh, see if he marches in here. Because if he does, he's toast. But if he doesn't, we should be in range to attack him, unless he just like underways over there. So let's hope he doesn't do that, because that would be terrible. Can we? No, we can't get there anyway. We should be able to get there through there, right? 
probably. And I'm trusting that these are not gonna be a problem because who are you fighting? Okay, you're fighting Scrag, you're finding fighting some Skaven, which I assume that's these guys. The these orcs and Scabby Eye. So yeah, I think you're occupied, hopefully. So let's just go and kill these guys because it seems like I don't know the AI. Because they didn't do what I thought they were gonna do. And oof. Taking a lot of damage on the Arachnorok Spider. Partly because I took a lot of damage on the Arachnorok Spider when I refought the, the fight, but it should be fine. That is no amount of replenishment. That is no amount of money. So I guess experience is fine. And there we go. Now they're destroyed. So if we go right there. Hmm. I guess right there would be better so let's let's just put on our marching no actually first let's get our regiments and it's three things right it's these two and this the swamp things so actually we're still we're still gonna spend a turn in here so that's fine so let's go stand right there because we should be able to underway there, right? Yeah, we have to be able to do that. And melee attack for goblin and night goblin infantry unit. That is exactly what we want. We put you there this turn, so of course you can't do anything else. Let's just get money in this place. That's going to be great. We can probably... Actually, we do want the capacity. But I also kind of want the den... So I think we're demolishing that. And we can get the giant river troll hag now, or at least the building now. And definitely the squigs. Let me get them squigs. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh crap, that's underway interception. Can we take that? No, no, we can't. Ungrim is an absolute raid boss. I. I don't think we win this. Let's just let him go. And uh, we'll take him with the WA army. Because why fight them in an even battle when we can just bring in 15 more units of mostly archers, which is going to be great against their army. And winds of uh, winds. Winds of winds. Do we want to spend some... Because we just unlocked Jagged Weapons, which is gonna be so good for the uh, Nasty Skulkas. Do we want to spend much stuff over here? You got, you got armor and spiky weapons. That's actually a pretty nice amount of armor. But... I mean, if we get anything, it would be pl bonus versus, plus 10 bonus versus infantry. Because that would be really good against miners, but Nasty Skulkers already beat miners. It's mostly the uh, Slayers and Ungrim himself I'm worried about, because he's a raid boss. And he got damn Tormentor Sword. Oh, that's rough. These guys we can get on top of with Nasty Skulkers. Well, I don't know why I'm going through all this. Um, we can we can take him, and I. Oh, don't be don't. Okay, good. Because I was sure he was going to run like to the other side of the mountains there. But we'll be fine. This is, this is fine. Okay, so they will come in uh, one and a half minutes. So I guess we set up pretty far back. And that's going to benefit us anyway. Because that's going to give us a high ground advantage. And let's just do it like that. A little bit of a checkered formation. And grab some of these and pull out like so. Hopefully you can last for a bit until the reinforcements come. But these guys, they are gonna go on a secret agent. Oh, we can't set up over there. Um, okay. Oh, they can't set up over... Th oh, where can you set up? <laughs> you can set up over there. Oh, you can set up there. Okay. 
because they're gonna go in behind and take out the Iron Drakes, the Thunderers, and uh, probably Quarrelers. And that's gonna be fine. And you absolutely need to stand back there and just you're just gonna pound Thorgrim with, with Vindictive Glare once you're in range. So, you can stop. Oh, are you not attacking? You gotta attack. You can't give me this that easily. Okay, so I might just cut to when the battle actually starts then because we're gonna have to wait for our reinforcements okay so they just let us set up which is incredibly stupid of them but we're gonna just start pummeling them with uh, with the doom divers which have started firing right yeah there they go go little fellas go or are you shooting lords no okay they're just just being really skillfully dodging, which is incredibly annoying, but there they go. Now we got them. So just... Oh, actually, don't shoot that. Let's just shoot some dwarf warriors. That's fine. You go in there. You go in there. And you go in there. I guess the iron drakes are are moving up but we can send in those guys we send in there you're gonna have to hold some but that's all right we'll deal with miners no problem and yeah these are gonna be fine oh what happened there they got a big volley on them it seems oh and oh no you stay and fight this lord better back away though Oof, I forgot about Vindictive Glare. Whoops! <laughs> uh, pop it. But yeah, let's just take all of the backline archers and everyone shoot on Grim. That's gonna be fine. Uh, where's, where's the Lord? There he is. Let's just point blank shoot at Ungrim. Because we should get a. Not very good hit there, but we got a hit, I suppose. Any hit is better than no hit, I guess. Oh, we got into the Iron Drakes. Very good. We slaughtered their backline. Very nice. And Ungrim is just being a raid boss. Because Ungrim, that's what Ungrim does. Um, I guess start shooting the miners over there, because that's... Oh, okay. Never mind. Those those are just some randos. Pop that again. And I guess try to shoot Ungrim. Everyone, shoot Ungrim, please. Goddamn raid boss. Can't say I'm a fan. At least not while I'm fighting him as goblins. Because holy hell is he hard to kill. And unbreakable, so... Yay. <laughs> This is gonna be great! Uh, uh. But these guys are running. Now it's just the now it's just the unbreakable stuff, so. Yeah, buckle up, Ungrim. We're gonna this is gonna take a while. So I guess we just watch as he is filled with arrows. Everyone just shoot your load at him. Look at this asshole. <laughs> He's just... Uh, well, that whole thing is slaughtered. Oh, okay. Let's not have you die, please. Run away. You should be faster than him. Run through some stuff. And there we go. Now <laughs> he's dead. Fucking Ungrim. So, at least Ungrim is dead. That's very helpful. Um, I do think we're gonna need some replenishment after that, so... Let's just grab that. And you just... You're one of those... Uh, like, chill guys, right? Yeah. Prefer to just sit back and do nothing. Because you're a... You're a little... Little worthless boy. And where is our border? Oh, it's all the way back there. So there's no point. Let's just... I guess you can just go over there 
And that sh then you should reach that no problem next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Got a bunch of levels though. That is excellent. And we're done with the gobos. And I don't think you're gonna get more of that stuff. So let's just give you sneaky stabbing. One more level for goblin tie though. And uh, let's get... I like Itchy Nuisance and I guess Vindictive Glare. It's very good when you get up on the Arachnorok so you get a little higher higher angle. Because I feel like it's better at hitting and doesn't hit the ground that much. And we can absolutely get there. Excellent. But first we're getting rid of two archers. Because I want these boys and those. And then we'll go over there. Nice. So, this is ready to upgrade. Now, I hope they only have this and uh, don't have like that. So they attack World's Edge Archway, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, Squighorn, get some growth, more money, more money. And... More money. Give me that money. And now I think we're just going towards better arrowheads. Because that's just missing strength and ammunition and stuff. And we get scrap upgrades for night goblins. So, and healing mushrooms is great. Oh, brutal business. Is that good for me or terrible for me? I don't really know. Well, since it's base weapon damage, I guess it's really good against slayers. Really bad against... Warriors, but we'll be fine. Um, oh, we, we lost a goddamn war army. What? What is wrong with this? Uh, it's just a like coin toss whether you lose your your war army or not because um, that's not good. I was gonna go and take out Ungrim with this. Uh, fine. I guess we'll just live with it. And we can't auto-resolve that without losing a bunch of nasty skulkers. So I guess we fight this real quick. I mean, we could reload and do the Ungrim fight again and see if we don't lose it, but it seems to be kind of a coin flip to see if we lose it or not. And I don't, don't want to have to sit around and refight fights constantly so we'll just live with it and this garrison was so small that we're just gonna send everything here we can just collect everything in this courtyard and basically just pepper it with archer fire that should be fine yeah there they go so go in and kill that go in and kill that these guys can kill that let's grab some of these and try to kill this stupid tower. Get in there, get in there. Archers. Let's just move up. This tower should go down pretty quick because it's actually pretty good at uh, taking down that stuff. And Itchy Nuisance is gonna be so good here. Because it lowers uh, their melee attack and base weapon strength, so they're gonna make them real weak. It's actually gonna make our our goblins kinda tanky, which is great. Send some over there, we'll send like one of these into the flank. They should die pretty fast, I think. Okay, um, oh, that's, actually, you can just walk through while this builds, although it's gonna be done pretty fast. Okay, let's just, Try to focus those guys down instead. That tower is down, so I guess we can just send you over there. Should be able to shoot a bunch. Okay, now we itch a nuisance over there, just to debuff those idiots. Let's pop that on some nasty skulkers. And I don't want to shoot him because that's just gonna kill our stuff mostly, so let's not. Uh, but you can send you up there. Yeah, all of you can go up there because we're, we should be fine there. And we got some archers shooting there. Let's move you there to shoot. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this should be all right. Oh, ouch. Okay, those were blasting charges. I didn't pay attention to that, but... Oh, well, they're normal gobos. We can get those back, no problem. I goddamn... Dwarven raid bosses. <laughs> I hate them. But now we got a war. We can pop you for some extra damage. These guys are running. We should be killing this pretty quick. And we can go and send some vindictive glares down that. It's fine. We captured this as well, so that should help us a little bit. But yeah, it seems like we just need to do some damage to those and we'll be fine. Taking a little... Oh, why are you back? Yeah, bastard. Okay, chase him down. Don't have him come back. Let's do... Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. We got a nice amount of... Well, I say nice, but hopefully... Uh, we can loot and occupy that. Uh, demolish that. Repair that. That's fine. But... That's enough for Goblin Tide, which is gonna be very good. And I want to get to Curse of the Bad Moon, because that's that's the good stuff. But since we lost our stupid extra army, I guess we're getting some, uh, some of these. Maybe some Pump Wagon. They're pretty good against Dwarves, actually. If... I remember to use them, which is a big if. And probably get some of these as well. Let's merge. Yeah, get you and you. They're pretty good because these guys got pretty decent missile uh, armor piercing. And the poison is just pretty nice. And you can use them to charge in the rare to stuff, although their charge bonus is pretty bad. But I think that's just because. They're the archers, but they're just nice harassing units. And we can't get any nasty skulkers over here. Anything else? I guess we get the pump wagon. Instead of... Yeah, instead of some gobos. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna be good to have. And I miss my friends that left me. And, oh, what a surprise! There is Skaven in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seriously? If we lightning strike? No, that's even worse. Okay, fine. God damn auto resolve. <laughs> okay, so all of these kind of need to rest a little bit. So let's just put them all the way over there. Uh, we'll grab all of these and just... Wait. No, let's do it over there. This is a better angle. Because I like this whole open area. We'll grab these two. They're gonna go and attack in there. I guess grab the rusty arrows as well. And I guess a goblin unit. These guys are just gonna go into the middle. And all of these are gonna go and help. Skarsnik, go in there, and you're gonna go in there too. Oh, and the Swamp Things are gonna go in the middle. Excellent. So, I guess everything go and attack that. Send these guys in there. Get going. And all of you, just go right there and start shooting stuff. And you're gonna go and help. And I think that's everything, except for... The unhealthy ones. Are you protecting this wall? Are you are you worried I will capture this wall? There you go. Now you're turning the right way. And meeting me in battle. Like brave little rats. Sneaky. <laughs> it's really unnecessary, but I like hitting that button. And let's smoke bomb. Pocket sand. 
get you in there. Let's actually put two archers there, two archers there, so they actually shoot the right stuff. Oh, and they menaced, menaced us from below. You bastards. But at least they didn't do it in our archer line, which is nice of them. I appreciate it. Stay and kill those. They should flee pretty quickly, considering they're slaves. And our reinforcement comes in 20 seconds. Let's just hope we get to keep those this time. Go over there and help. And stand and shoot. Oh, there's a menace. Let's grab you. Yep, 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 yep. Grab you to go down and help. And pop it. Very good. Get over there. Let's send you over there. Why do you have a bunch of stuff over there? But I guess uh, now that these guys are here, let's send you over there. Send some orc boys over there. See what they can do. And I want to destroy this tower. Let's. Yeah, let, we we gotta push back to over there. Yeah. So let's just try to get there. Let's grab all of these goblins. Just. March forward. If if you walk into some Skaven, kill them. And the archers. I don't know. Go and go and kill that tower. All of you, just move forward. Maybe don't don't march into stuff though, but try to move forward. You need orders. Order. Very good. And yeah, those are dead. Let's send you over there. Where are all of our reinforcements? Oh, those are all of that. Yeah, okay, they're all really far away. That's gonna take... Um, oh, that is so annoying. But these are disappearing in 19 seconds. Let's shoot them a little bit while we wait. Nope. Keep killing. Keep moving. Keep killing and moving. Bob and weave. Kill and move. Get in there. Try to take that point. Because I want to get rid of those. God dang. Go and punch that wall a little bit. Go and punch that wall a little bit, please. I want to get through. Just let me in. The bastards don't want me in there. I'll show him. I'll show him all. Well, you're shooting at something, so please move forward. Move past that stupid barricade. You're trying your darndest to get to those Gaven slaves, and these guys should be fine. The reinforcements are working hard at getting to us. Well, that's fine. Hey, they destroyed a barricades. Move forward. Let's start fast forwarding a little bit, because this... Now I feel like this is mostly going to be clean up. Let's set you over there. Maybe you can shoot over there. Yeah, you're you're trying your darndest. Very good. That is taken. And I feel like this should be army losses any second now. Let's set you over there. See if you can shoot down to these idiots. See if you can kill that. What? Oh, okay. I guess not. Okay, anyone? Can anyone? Attack that, please. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So, that was actually kind of harder than I thought it was going to be, but still not that bad. So, let us grab... Ooh, replenishment. Let's grab the replenishment and a little bit of extra money. And we got to keep our wow army, so that's good. Happy with that. We will get that eventually, but... Renowned and Feared is just going to be good for us. Excellent. And we might... Oh, this is actually faction-wide. Oh, that's going to be so good, though. Especially when we have these extra armies. So, let's give you survivalists, because I want they need stabbing. It's, like, the biggest reason to have... 
a goblin big boss because this ability is so good at sniping lords. So we're gonna get that. Hey, leadership of night goblins. Very nice. And that is the same turn. So, upgrade that for the big boss. Let's upgrade that for the monies. And we're getting the cages. We're getting the hags. What are we not getting? Uh, we're not getting these yet. And we're not getting the caster. We really need casters though. And I also want dens to get to Arachnorox. Oh man, there's so much I want. Okay. So we are gonna get a caster from the giant river troll hag. And I think that's gonna be good enough maybe. I like night goblin shamans. But I think I like the troll hag better. Even though this is more thematic. And I might go for the den just so we can get to Arachnorok. Because this is the, this is going to be the first settlement to actually get to tier 4. And I want to have an Arachnorok place. We could get that then. But I think we're getting the wolf then. I just like that. And repair. Repair. Garrison, I think. And now we're going to go towards... Oh, I guess Blackrock got taken too. Because I guess you are at war with those as well. Because last I, I checked, the Scabby Eyes were holding uh, Iron Rock. Yeah, but we're going to Blackrock anyway. And I guess we want to finish this area. So we're going to Iron Rock next. Hello, Scabby. Uh, no. Combat focus. Recruitment cost for melee infantry units. Well, that's not gonna matter too much. Let's just march down towards Iron Rock. Oh, there's actually an army. Oh, they start with a bunch of warfire throwers. And warp grinders. This is, uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't nothing. And I hope you don't go and cower in Iron Rock. That's gonna be rough for me. But, I mean... We should still be fine, especially with these guys, but I'm still going to be a little bit worried about it. Let's get more monies, more monies, and uh, more growth. What else? Probably s some ditches. Maybe some more troll hags, because I like them a lot. Maybe some more big bosses. Because I like those a lot. But we can get both of those when we get to tier 3 because it's no rush considering we get it here. Oh, we can get the squigs now. Ooh, I want to get the squigs now. Okay, well, we have a lot of scrap right now. I think we're going to grab some jagged weapons because we lost... We lost our boys. And oh shit, that is expensive and takes a long time if we want to get it on uh, on uh, global. So we're not going to do that. Okay, we reach with 150. So if we walk 50, we can still get the the um, replenishment actually that is perfect yeah if we reach like this then we reach with normal movement good so i think we might no this is fine it's okay that these are a little bit hurt they don't they haven't recruited anything except for giant slayers which is a little bit scary and they don't have the biggest garrison so we we, we can deal with that no problem that's fine, fine, fine. Lots of and, I mean, we are going to want garrison there. So let's just grab growth for now. It's cheap and you're always going to want growth. So that's okay. Speaking of growth. Right. Hello. Azag wants a non-aggression pact. I think we're okay with that. 
because we just want to get Ungrim out of there and then we're just focusing south. And the sla slaves of Tsar declares on us. Bastards. Well. Oh, is it because we have a non-aggression pact with the Lamians? Probably. That's annoying. Oh, well. And we have some buildings damaged. Bastards. Okay, well. Guess repair that. And... Uh, we're gonna end this episode here, and next turn we're gonna get Skarsnik into Iron Rock and Black Crag, and maybe even Karakate Peaks. We're gonna see what happens. But that's gonna be it for today, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!